Idea Boards is one of our brainstorming tools that you can use for your projects. When you come to the main website, it's very simple. Although there's a login button at the top, you do not have to log in. So you can just create a board to use for a project and not have to worry about creating an account. To make your board, you're going to look for the yellow post-it note that says how, and you're going to click create my own idea board. On the main menu here, you're going to need to fill in some information. When it asks for a name, it's asking for the name of your idea board, not your name. So you want to give your board a name that kind of tells you what it is. So I'm going to call this one BT Brainstorming. So for design thinking brainstorming. And description, I'm going to call it project ideas. For the section, this lets you choose how many categories you're going to have on your board. If you look at the sample on the main page, you can see there are two different categories here. Depending on what type of brainstorming you're doing, you may need only one section. You may need more than one. That's up to you. Our section title, I'm just going to say ideas. Since we just have one section, it's going to be a section for our ideas. I'm going to click I'm not a robot and click create. Now I have my board ready to go. To share the board, I want to come up to my address bar at the top and copy the link up here. Then I'm going to share that link with the other people in my group. They can click on the link. It will bring them to your brainstorm board and they can add ideas as well. If you're working with a group, only one person needs to create the board and then just share the link out with everyone else. To create your brainstorm ideas, you're going to look for the green button with the plus sign and click on it to add your sticky note. Then just start typing your idea. When you click off of it, it's automatically saved. And if you need to make changes, you can click on it again. You'll notice there's a little plus zero here. One of the nice things about idea boards is that people can vote on ideas to help you decide which one you're going to end up using. While you're in the brainstorm board, everyone on your team can add sticky notes. And then when you're done, depending on the assignment, you may need to turn in your brainstorm board. There's a really simple way to do this. You're going to come up to the top and look for the button that says export. For idea boards, there's only two options, PDF or Excel. We want to click PDF and that's going to open a new tab with a list of your ideas and any votes they may have. When you get to this page, you have to remember to download it. This just opens it. We want to look for the arrow with the line under it in the top right corner and click download. Depending on your Chromebook settings, it may ask you where you want to save it, or it may automatically save it to your downloads folder. Once it's saved, you have it on your Chromebook and you can turn it into Classroom if that is part of your assignment. To get back to your idea board, simply close this tab and you'll come back to the main board. If you ever want to get back to your idea board again after you close this tab, you're going to need this web address. So if you think you might need to come back to it later, you might want to copy this link, save it in a Google Doc or write it down somewhere so that you can get back to it later.